your ears because shit's about to get real. This is going to be long. Any hooty. So I had a stitch stand out to me on my video about manners and how people shouldn't act like micro penis ragamuffins because somebody misgenders them based on the way they present themselves. First off, uh, I'm supposed to be ashamed of being from Alabama because of the laws that are here. First one being no gender affirming care is to be given to anyone under the age of 19. Yeah, it should be like that everywhere. I personally believe it should be 21. You can't buy alcohol or tobacco products till that age. And gender reassignment surgery shouldn't be till the age of 25. That's around the time your brain is done developing. Second law, biological males have to play sports with males. Biological females have to play sports with females. All the way up to college students. Yeah, it should be like that everywhere. Females have a physical disadvantage playing sports against males. It's common sense. Third law, biological males have to use the men's restroom and changing areas. Same thing with biological females. Yeah, it should be like that everywhere. The biggest concern of that is predators pretending to be trans just so they can go in restrooms and changing areas with biological females. Women have a hard enough time walking down the fucking street. Now they can't even feel safe in their bathrooms and fucking changing rooms that is designated for them. Fourth law, no sexual orientation or LGBTQ is to be taught or talked about in schools. Yeah, it should be like that everywhere. Teachers get ridiculed for having an American flag in their classrooms, but others are praised if they make their classrooms look like unicorns and leprechauns had an orgy and spread their baby gravy all over the fucking walls. It shouldn't be talked about or taught in schools regardless. That's grown folk shit. Let children be children. Second, tuh. There's a difference in living your life and shoving your agenda and beliefs down people's throats. And the same thing goes with religion. The biggest problem that people have is the brainwashing and manipulation of children and being told they have to accept shit or they're a bigot or the biggest piece of shit because they don't agree with you. Third, duh. Just because someone doesn't agree with you or has different beliefs does not mean they are any type of phobic. And just because someone is not a part of a specific community or group does not mean they cannot have opinions or speak out about their opinions. If that was the case, those who do not have children should not open their pisser liquor and tell parents they don't have the right to protect their children. I said what I said.